And when it comes to the topic of hobbies, there's always a whole lot of discussions and arguments going on between freelancers and tax authorities. But what is this hobby? The word sounds nice at first, but in reality, it's not factual. It is a self-employment where the tax office questions the intention to make a profit. The tax office doesn't believe you anymore that you're running this business to actually make a profit. And that leads to the tax office prohibiting you from claiming business expenses. That means you can't claim any expenses anymore and losses may not be tax deductible either. By the way, hobbyism can happen in all self-employment areas. It doesn't matter whether you're self-employed, registered as a business, or have rental income from leasing, or if you're possibly a farmer or a forester. The tax office can accuse you of being a hobbyist in all of these areas. But that's particularly common when a personal interest and a personal passion blend together with professional activity and it's not quite clear how to separate them. One major area where I often observe this is with coaches, nutritionists, or yoga teachers, for example. You start some kind of training out of personal interest and the desire to further develop yourself, hoping that afterwards you might somehow make money with it. No customers, no profit, no income. Authorities can say, the whole thing was more like a hobby without any financial viability. Another common occurrence is in the DIY sector. If you're into painting, crafting, crocheting, or knitting, and you sell your creations on platforms like Etsy or eBay classifieds, you may make some money from it. However, the income is typically lower than your expenses. Even then, the tax office can question if you're doing it all to make a profit. This intention to make a profit is the requirement for you to deduct costs. If costs continue to rise, the IRS can argue that your personal interest and hobby are the primary focus, and you cannot deduct the costs of your hobby from your taxes. You must bear them privately. Normally, tax office contacts after three to four years when self-employed, if only losses incurred until then. They send you a letter and accuse you of being a hobbyist, assuming you don't aim to profit from this self-employment. And of course, the question is, how do you react to this letter? How to prove to the tax office it's self-employment, not a hobby? The keyword you need there is the total surplus forecast. In the total surplus forecast, you add up all the planned income, which means revenues of your self-employment and subtract from it all the expenses over the entire lifespan of your business. It may be necessary to make larger investments in the initial years, as it takes time for your business to become established and generate revenue. If you can make it believable that the losses at the start are just investments to make higher profits later, then the tax office usually believes you and you can claim the losses for tax purposes. There are definitely multiple strategies for that. You can do it, for instance, by increasing prices or targeting new customer segments and thus working on a new website or having a new social media presence or both. Or you can focus on the cost side and cut expenses to become profitable. Not everything that occurs in your independence is solely about you. At times, market changes occur, such as a pandemic or natural disasters, or a law change that suddenly alters the market or perhaps a technical innovation that could make an offer unnecessary. Or it makes it necessary for you to revise it again before it is requested by customers. All these things can have an effect on your independence and can lead to you making losses. If you can convey that convincingly, then it's not a problem and the hobby doesn't matter to you either. What also helps is that you have a business plan. That means if you have a professional business plan where you describe your business idea, analyze your customers, analyze the market in general, look at specific competitors, or do a calculation, such as a profitability plan. If you have that and can provide it to the tax office, then that is always a sign that you are approaching your self-employment in a professional manner and that your self-employed activity is really the focus and not just some hobby activity. That's crucial. It's crucial for the tax office that there is an intention to make a profit, not that actual profits are made. If you approach your self-employment professionally and it's clear that you intended to make a profit, then you can deduct costs and losses for tax purposes, completely regardless of whether you actually made any profits or losses. The whole hobby thing can actually be painful and expensive. The tax office can actually not only prohibit you from deducting business expenses and losses for future and current year, but also for previous years. Over the years, you've typically claimed the losses for tax purposes, leading to a higher tax repayment. 
I hope this video helped you out and gave you a little overview of the hobby topic. If you have any more questions, just leave a comment under this video. If you're self-employed, like a freelancer or a solo entrepreneur, and need a tax advisor for these questions, why not see how we assist self-employed individuals like yourself? I will send you all the info on our offer here, or view our other tax videos, like this one for example.